Molly's five-tier Alice in Wonderland cake will be decorated with edible features, including a Cheshire cat and a pouring teapot. This alone will take 10 hours, while the whole cake is more than two days' work. If I was going to charge for it, you know, it'd be around kind of six, seven hundred pounds mark, maybe. But I'm not expecting it to raise anywhere near that much money in the auction. With only a couple of days until the auction, Molly gets straight to work building the cake's foundations. This is the second to bottom layer. This is the biggest actual cake layer. And it's just a lemon flavour Madeira cake. Each tier is shaped differently. Look at that. And will be topped off with a sponge teapot. I've baked that into like half sphere cake tins um, and then they're going to fit together and then I'm going to buttercream it. Cake done. Next comes the trickier task of bringing the characters to life. Yeah, spheres are really hard to cover just because you have to go like out and then back in again and it tends to like pleat quite a lot. For the bottom tier, she needs to create a tree bark effect using more sugar paste. I'm just going to roll this out and then um, lay it on top of the impression mat. Oh yeah, it's quite bark-ish. Nice. So that should be like enough to go around half. To finish it off, she airbrushes it with food colouring. Gives it another dimension and kind of brings it to life a bit more. The tears will be brought to life with a whole host of edible features from the story. These are edible wafer playing cards, but they've actually got the original Alice in Wonderland um, illustrations on them. And who can forget the infamous Cheshire Cat? I kind of remember his face. It's one of them, it's very time consuming and the devil's in details really, so... Obviously there's going to be two more tears on top of this one. So it's, it's a serious cake. And with over 30 to handcraft in 24 hours, the pressure's on. If it raises a couple hundred pounds, I'll be very happy. It's been four days, and Molly's finished decorating her Alice in Wonderland cake, turning her ambitious design into a delicious reality. Staples rubber. She's now ready to deliver it to the Mad Hatter's fundraising ball, but the Lancashire weather is putting a dampener on things. With any sort of like fondant icing or sugar paste, the, the blobs of rain really eat into the icing and make little holes. Here we go. So basically, this is the worst possible weather. Snow would be better than this. The ball and auction are in full swing. Thank you very much. But will the star lot be fully intact? After a final inspection... Yeah, I'm happy. I think it looks happy. good. Yeah. Does look good. Standing at three feet tall, Molly's Alice in Wonderland cake is beautifully decorated with over 30 handcrafted characters from the children's fairy tale classic, including the White Rabbit and Alice herself, who's fallen into the teapot. Made from a delicious Madeira base with a variety of flavours throughout, this five-tiered masterpiece is all set to wow the crowd and raise some cash for a good cause. And head of fundraising Sam Morris... Wow. ...is thrilled by the donation. Yeah. It's really nice to have made a cake and just see it all in one huge room and it all just fit together really nice. I think they're going to have a really good night and hopefully raise loads of money as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Molly was hoping to raise a few hundred pounds. So, will her hard work pay off? 